like that one. <laughs> it's a little rock bass. Actually, it's not a very little rock bass. That's a pretty good sized one. <laughs> as far as rock bass go, it's not a, a bluegill or a, anything like that. Because look at the mouth on this thing. That is a bass. It's just a different kind of bass. <laughs> oh, I already got one. Look, a little bitty one. <laughs> what do we got here? Is this even recording? I just barely turned it on. <laughs> that is a little bitty spotted bass. Okay. Got him. In a really bad spot there. I gotta break off the barbed to release him. Oh, come on, stop, dude. Alright. There we go. Got him, and he should be all right. I forgot to take a picture of him. I always take pictures of all of my bass for the slideshow at the end of the month. I haven't caught very many of them in August, so August is going to be mixed in with September. But uh, anyway, that would have been another seven seconds in the video. Since my GoPro battery died, I caught another one. It's just a little rock bass, but it was right out here. I've been following the creek up, trying to find a good fishing spot. And it's actually dried up now, so I don't know where all that water to the south is coming from. But the creek is empty up here. There's just a few puddles. And I just found this. No idea what this is. But it does say... SA Machine Supply and Company, or Machine and Supply Company, San Antonio, Texas. But I have no idea what it is. It's metal, apparently. No, it's concrete, but it's got bolts sticking out of it. I don't know what it is. I'm going to keep following this dried up creek bed now, see where it goes. The creek is filled back up up ahead, but it is completely dry through here mostly except for a couple of puddles there but I don't know how this water gets down there flowing south and manages to fill up the, the creek the way it does now it's it's not uncommon to find tires in the creeks like this I mean I must have found 25 of them so far but uh, number 26 here is just ridiculous like how does that get down here? Nowhere near a road. I understand people dumping tires, but this is huge. This is off of an 18-wheeler. So. I don't know. Alright. Uh, usually I just fish for bass, and that's about it. But, uh, I only caught a couple of little tiny ones today. So I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to... This lake is stocked with catfish. And I know they just stocked it last week, so there should be plenty out here. And I'm going to see if I can catch some on hot dogs. These are uncured turkey hot dogs. So let's see what I can do. Uh, the reason I'm using these hot dogs for bait is, well, for one, it's a common thing around here in, in, in this city. Everybody uses hot dogs for bait. And uh, they call all sunfish perch. So... Stop, get off my ass about it already. Uh, anyway, this is these are turkey dogs. I bought them because they were cheap, and they were absolutely disgusting. I could not eat them. They're gross. So I decided to use them for bait. I figured, you know, they're gross. Maybe I can catch catfish with them. But they're so gross, the ants don't even want them. And I can't get any bites on anything here. Like, my rod's been sitting here in the water for about an hour now with no bites. And the hot dog is still on there because I keep checking it and throwing it back out. So, 
yeah, these. If you ever see this brand of hot dog or something, Applegate Natural Uncured Turkey Hot Dogs, just get the hell away from them. I'm experimenting with the hook. I got the hook set through the hot dog like that and hooked up back to back the, on this side. And then I had a treble hook off an old broken crankbait. I just took the ring off and I attached it at the hook, at the eyelet at the hook. So. And that way if something bites it but doesn't take it, I still got a shot at getting them with the treble. Because I finally got my first bite of hot dog a little while ago. And now of course since I'm recording the wind's going to start blowing. But anyway, I got my first bite with the hot dog. But it didn't take it and the hook was buried too far in it. But like this I think I should be able to catch something. Yeah, I'm sitting over here watching YouTube videos and uh, tossed my line out right over here by this dam and uh, I decided to, you know, I found this little piece of twine so I tied my rod down it's a good thing I did because while I was over there not paying attention something grabbed the rod, or grabbed the line and just took off with it and was bending it all over the place I came over here, uh, when I got here the rod actually if I didn't have it tied down the rod would have gone in whatever it was and uh, uh, it was probably a big turtle but it was swimming around a lot but it was probably a big turtle because it just cut the line it didn't snap the line it cut the line so uh, yeah now I gotta get another rig tied up and uh, yeah I'm doing it again <laughs> uh, got it tied up right here so it doesn't go anywhere and I tossed it out, right up, not too far out there, just at the base of the dam. Hopefully I'll get a catfish there.